I've returned and my office is different. Can you see? I know it's it's kind of washed out, but can you see the blue? Look, 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 look. Colors. <laughs> color. The office has been flipped around, okay? The computer and everything used to be over there, moved it over here, and now the setup is clean. Look at how clean the setup is to be out here. So it's been a week since my last video. <laughs> What's going on CK Cruise Boy CK2K here and welcome back to another video. Yes, people, it has been a week and some changes. The Boy, if you don't get for some of you, you may already know that it's because my last computer decided to just it, it just decided to blow up and say no more videos for you, man. We were on a nice little uploading spree too. The computer didn't like that too much. But guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell. And don't forget to like this video if you haven't already and join the crew. What are you waiting on? Get in here, let's get it. And without further ado, I am bringing back another Reddit video. That's right, the last one that I put up, you guys really enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing. It was really dope to see the response on Reddit when I put the video up, you guys loved it. And I had a lot of fun going um, over some of you guys' posts on the Nyx Reddit. So we are gonna do that once again in this video, a Nyx Reddit video. Ah, Mitch, me too, man. Me too. Ooh, Mark Berman spitting some facts here. He says, some insiders believe Atkinson could be a better fit than Thibodeau because he's reputedly better suited for a younger roster than that is rebuilding. Facts. Like, I understand. And I know all the people that are out there talking about Tom Thibodeau is the better coach. He has this blah, 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 blah. I just want the guy that's going to be best for what is next for the New York Knicks. If we are finally going to actually commit to this rebuild and actually commit to going into the next stage of the rebuild and you know go through with um the, developing the players and making them into players that can be good long term then we need a coach that's going to be better suited for that and to me tom thibodeau is just not that guy <laughs> if we had a team or we were trying to build a win now roster i would consider tom Thibodeau. we're not there yet we are rebuilding trying to get back at a place of winning so i i, I don't i'm not crazy about the tom Tom Thibodeau rumors right now I'm heavy on either the Kenny Atkinson or bringing back Mike Miller situation more so on Kenny Atkinson so if this is true I'm with it but yes if I'm if, if I'm considered an insider yes I am definitely leaning more towards Atkinson than Tom Thibodeau <laughs> NBA analyst talks Nick's draft target Lamella Ball he's famous like a Kardashian but he actually has talent Bring the boy home. Yes, Kenny Atkinson. I said it when the Nick Nets first brought him in. I hated it. I hated, hated, hated that they took Kenny Atkinson from us. Because Kenny Atkinson had a lot to do with what was Lynn Sanity. And you know now that he had a lot to do with what is D'Angelo Russell, what is Spencer Dinwiddie. This dude is really good at what he does when it comes to developing players. And that is why I am so hell-bent on seeing him come and coach this team. Especially if everything lines up perfectly and we're able to draft LaMelo Ball to have him be the head coach for LaMelo Ball because that's what he does like he lets them play but he teaches them through it in the situation DeAndre Russell had his best season with him Spencer Dinwiddie has had the best seasons of his career as the with the Brooklyn Nets under him so it just makes so much sense for us to bring him in and usher in that next stage if we are able to get a guy like LaMelo Ball and my camera just okay hold nope on. Oh my gosh, chill out. Going to be a lovely day in NYC. The parade with Julius Randall gets Oh my god. The fan base turned so fast for this man. And and the thing is, I, I get it. Like I understand. Like it, when you have to worry about the person that you're paying the most money, if you're so worried about what they do with the ball at the clutch time of the game, that is not a good sign. And there's been more moments than just in the clutch time of game where he has come out and he has made some mistakes. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes. And he just doesn't fit with R.J. Barrett and Mitchell Robinson. Like, our our lineups look better when he's not on the court. And it's just, I, t- to me, it's nothing personal with him. He just doesn't fit this team. He got to go somewhere else. So, yes, I would love to see him get traded. But, yo, there will definitely be parades if he's traded. The way y'all talk about it. <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> Meech Doobie looking like Franklin the Turtle. <laughs> Yo, you guys are wild. Oh, gosh, this is a good one. The New York Knicks are now on the clock. Who would you take with the sixth pick? The results so, so far would be Anthony Edwards went to the Warriors, James Wiseman to the Cavs, LaMelo Ball to the Wolves, Killing Hayes to the Hawks, Obi Toppin to the Pistons. So we're at six, and the selection of giving us is Denny, Isaac Okaro, Onyeka, Tyrese, Halliburton, Devin Vassell, and other. To be honest, the two point guards I want are off the board. Tyrese Halliburton is somebody I would make more of a gamble if we were closer to 10. If we're sitting at 6, I think you got to go with the guy with the most talent, the most upside of this bunch. And I think I'm going to go with Denny. I got to go with Denny in this situation. I want to see what everyone else said. Tyrese Halliburton won out. Wow. People just really want that point guard. I know a lot of people have been hating on Tyrese. If we did draft Tyrese Halliburton, honestly, I would not be as upset. I think Tyrese Halliburton is going to be a lot better than people are giving him credit to be. But in this situation, if Danny's still on the board at six, I'm taking Danny in that situation. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is, this is, this is great. This is masterful. An original illustration of LaMelo on the Knicks. Your thoughts? My thoughts are this is wonderful. As you can see, I've given this an upvote. But yeah, look at this. Shout out to Xavier. This is this is great. I mean, if it's already known, I have all my eggs in the basket hoping for LaMelo Ball. I am fully aware that I'm probably going to be very upset after the draft. I'm not an idiot. I know what could possibly be the case and most likely would be the case because A, I guarantee the lottery ball is not going to bless us to get any pick close to trying to get him and be the trading up scenarios i don't think it's going to happen although i like hearing that it's a possibility and the knicks would look to be aggressive so i'm still a little weary on that rumor as well but i'm hoping i'm all in on the mill i've been all in on the mill ball since this channel has been conceived yeah i would i, I really 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 believe that the mill ball would be a guy that would help jumpstart the the future of this team especially with guys like mitchell robinson and rj barrett so i'm hoping i'm hoping mitch is built like an iron car yo minecraft made it to the knicks reddit yo this is great oh knicks Reddit. every time i come on here i i, I am always surprised this <laughs> oh, leon rose got picks to make it happen <laughs> Please, this was the future of my team. I am going to be so happy. Please, basketball gods, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he just got here, guys. He just got here with a draft prospect looking just right. <laughs> this is so good, yo. He just got here. He just got here. He even un unloaded his boxes into his new office. And we already memeing him. I I'm so happy about this uh, signing. I like all of the guys that we brought into this front office. Leon Rose did a good job with that. We had one man trying to do everything the last few years in Steve Mills. And obviously, he was not the great man to do all that by himself. And now Leon Rose is bringing in all these people who are experienced in all these different areas to handle their one sole job. And my camera went out again. We are going to have beat. This camera has shut off on me three times already. It's not that it's dying. It's just that it's overheating. It's not that hot in this office. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. I just got a new computer. Don't think I won't get a new camera. Don't think I won't. Bill Simmons has my hopes up. NBA thinking of the 7 to 12 seeds to have a play in for the last two spots for the playoffs. Knicks are 12. I love the idea. I don't like that we're <laughs> in it. I think that's exactly what they should do. I think they should do a play in tournament and then the playoffs. I don't think that they need to add any more games left for in the season. The only reason why I would want more games before the playoffs would be for the Knicks to lose them so we have a better chance at getting a draft pick. But um I like the play in tournament idea better, not so much for us, but I like the play in tournament idea better. I think that'd be cool to see a nice little tournament with them all getting back on track. It's probably already going to have like a summer league/AAU slash vibe if everyone's going to be 
be in the same bubble because you know even though they're talking about not having any fans and stands because they're all going to be quarantined together there's a good chance that you're going to be seeing these players in the stands watching the other teams play watching the competition that they're going to have or teams that they're going to want to hopefully face up against and stuff like that it's going to be a cool atmosphere over there and i'm hoping that that's the way that they're going to allow i hope they're going to allow these other players to come and then watch the games i think that'd be pretty cool but yeah i, th I think that, that that should be the best answer all these different scenarios we have to me the best answer is have this playing tournament for these bubble teams and then go into the playoffs i think that should be it i think that's all that we should have until the end of this season but we'll see that being said um i think we would probably play the net oh if we play the nets and i'm gonna get too competitive then i want us to win that <sighs> oh my god who did this who did this Knicks 1973 we just beat Wilts Lakers for the second time in three years Knicks 2020 hashtag tank for LaMelo hashtag Imani Bates 10 <laughs> I hate it I hate it I hate it laugh it up okay laugh it up on that note that is where I'm going to end this video this has been great we had another good Knicks ready and I gotta say Knicks ready man look we out here man it's pretty lit and I, I had a good time with this one reading some dope articles as well as laughing at some Knicks memes we you guys know the deal let me know your favorite in the comments below let me know your thoughts on any of the topics we talked about in this video in the comments below if you haven't already subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell don't forget to like this video it's me your boy ck you know what it is let's get it i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video i'm out of here the lights guys you see the lights it's dope right feeling like i won the lotto Always taking trips with a new chick Asking where the time go oh. And I wonder If this is all I'll know Cause like my old man I'm a rolling stone